Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today let's talk about the Acara U200 Retrofit Smart Lock. Now, Acara make a ton of HomeKit compatible products. This includes things like their excellent G4 video doorbell and also a load of smart locks already. Now, back in October last year, they announced the U200, which is going to be their first retrofit smart lock. And a retrofit smart lock is generally a smart lock you can easily fit to your door without needing to cause any damage or mess around with handles or things like that. A device like the Nuki 4 is a great example of a retrofit smart lock. So let's talk about U200 and what it's going to involve. So firstly, it is not available to buy yet. It's going to be coming to Kickstarter soon. This means there's absolutely no information on pricing yet. What we do know is that it's going to have two parts. It's going to have an inside part, and this has a rounded design with a twist knob on it, and actually looks pretty similar to the Yale Linus. It's then also going to have an outside module which has a fingerprint reader and a keypad on. Both of these designs are a grey colour from what we've seen, and they look really nice. When it comes to fitting, Akara claimed that at the moment you're going to be able to fit it in about five minutes. Whether this is true or not, we'll find out as soon as this launches and arrives. And of course, the big plus side of it being retrofit is that you'll still be able to get in from the outside using a key if you want to. This is great if the battery runs out or if you've got less tech savvy family members. It also draws less attention to your front door. In terms of spec, we don't know the whole picture at the moment, but we do know quite a lot. So we know that it's gonna come with wired and wireless options. This means it can be battery powered or you can hardwire it into your mains. Of course, the battery powered one is gonna be easier to fit. In terms of what it supports, we know that it's gonna be compatible with matter over thread out of the box. Therefore, it's gonna be HomeKit compatible as well. It's gonna have NFC built in. It's gonna have a fingerprint sensor and it's also gonna have a keypad for unlocking the door. It's gonna support remote locking so you can check the status of your door and lock and unlock when you're away as well. In addition to that, it will also have geofencing for auto unlock when you get home. Where it gets really exciting, however, and where this lock does, in my opinion, become a game changer, is that it's going to support Apple HomeKey. And Akara have even shown this in action at CES. And the reason this is massive is because at the moment there is not a single retrofit smart lock out there that is HomeKey compatible. And this is something people have been asking for for a really long time with Nuki, and something Nuki have kind of said, well, we're trying to work on it, but there's limitations around Apple's rules for HomeKey. And this is because HomeKey products must be Apple certified. So of course it's got to meet Apple's rigorous standards for HomeKey. And if you've not come across HomeKey, it's basically a little bit like your Apple Wallet and Apple Pay. This means you can basically hold your phone or your watch up to the reader in order to activate your smart lock. And express mode means you don't even need to double tap or unlock the device with your face. And from the demos I've seen, it looks like this is going to work using that outside module. So the outside module that's got NFC and the keypad and the fingerprint scanner in. And in my opinion, I think this is going to cause real issues for companies like Nuki because this is a feature that Apple users really want to see. And I'll certainly be pre-ordering one on Kickstarter when it goes live so I can bring you guys a review and test it all out. This may, however, also be good news for Nuki users though, because it sets a precedent. If Akara can get a retrofit smart lock certified by Apple as HomeKey compatible, then there's no reason why Nuki couldn't. And the Nuki 4 and Nuki 4 Pro are already matter over thread compatible out of the box. This means they work with HomeKit, these devices can also receive software updates over the internet. This means it could be a feature that Nuki could work on behind the scenes and introduce with a software update later on. The main challenge, I think, is that for HomeKit to work, you probably need some kind of module on the outside of your house. And maybe this is where the Nuki Keypad 2 or Keypad 2 Pro come in. Now, I don't think these actually have NFC built in at the moment unless Nuki have kept that quiet, but maybe a new product will enable that to work from the outside. And I think this announcement of the U200 from Akara means that companies like Nuki are going to be working really hard to get this functionality built in. And of course, competition is a good thing, and this makes this a really exciting time for Apple users who want HomeKey in the UK. So what do you think about it? Stick your thoughts below. If you want to see my review and unboxing and setup of the U200 when it eventually gets launched and they start arriving, then subscribe to this channel because I will be posting those videos here. Please give this video a like, and I'll see you guys again soon.